once I start something, I don't like to, <laughs> I don't like to give up until the job's done. You know, we set ourselves this task. We're gonna, we're going to bring this up. We're going to put it in a museum for people to enjoy. It's going to be our legacy here in 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 in, in Miri, and we're determined to do the job. You know, whatever it takes. It is difficult. It's a uh, hundred miles out to sea, among treacherous reefs. Every time I go there, this ship is not insured. You know, we're sitting in amongst reefs on all sides. Squalls at night, they come in at 50 knots all of a sudden, no warning. Uh, we're on tender hooks, and then the dive itself, it's down to you know, 36 to 40, meter, 40 meters, right on the limit. Uh, and you know, we, we're finding it very difficult. The, the good, good points is that it's, there's no current down there, and the visibility is very good. Temperature is very good. These things are, are, are positives, but you know, the distance out there, it takes us 18 hours to get out there each time we want to go diving. So, you know, there are difficulties. And the weather, well, this particular site is uh, totally exposed to the southwest. And uh, any, any wind over 12 knots, we have to can it. That's it, have to pull off, pull off the reef, head out into the open sea, away from the reef. So, uh, you know, the, the total amount of time that we can work the wreck is not great. It's taking a long time, unfortunately. We're hoping now that with the help of our benefactor here, uh, Troy Yao, that we'll get a big vessel out there, put four anchors on a crane, get to work and do it all in a month or so. Hopefully that's what we can do. And maybe we will, shortly. I think early next year that's what's going to happen. And that'll be that, the job's done. And I think that coincides with our return to Indonesia also. So I, I, the way things are going and flowing and the timing, I'm very optimistic at the moment. Things are going our way.